Everyone in SpongeBob has died. The characters you see in recent episodes are all imposters. One episode in season eight of SpongeBob changed it forever and none of us noticed. Until now, this is the alien invasion theory. The scene opens with SpongeBob and Patrick doing what they love best, going jellyfishing. All seems normal until we notice there is a big green creature in a cave. Patrick and SpongeBob fail to see it, and Patrick goes to rest on a rock. Back in the cave, the green alien creature consumes a jellyfish and makes a similar looking one, sending it Patrick's way. The alien jellyfish lands on Patrick's head and replaces him with a clone and takes Patrick's body away. The new black-eyed Patrick tells SpongeBob that they should give a jellyfish to all their friends. I too have caught many jellyfish. Perhaps we should give one to each of our friends. Remember that statement, because it will be very important later on. The scene flashes forward tonight, and Squidward is the last on the list to receive a jellyfish. Patrick pushes it through the mail, and almost instantly, it has already taken over Squidward's body and drops a clone outside. SpongeBob doesn't notice that his friends have been replaced and takes an alien home. When he was asleep, it was the perfect chance to replace. But SpongeBob woke up right in time. But wait, did you see that? What the fuck? That thing has fangs, which means everything it took over it sank its fangs into its head, draining them to make a clone. This within itself is enough proof that whoever got cloned died. But I'm sure it's not enough to convince you guys. But don't worry. What happens the following day will reveal the true dark reality of this invasion. The day arrives, and SpongeBob notices the jellyfish in the popcorn bowl and puts him in a cage. Gary gets fused with a plant and cloned. SpongeBob arrives at work, and everyone has been replaced except one customer who asks for mayonnaise on his patty. Uh, actually, I want one with extra mayo. This is when we realize that the aliens hate mayo. Mr. Krabs gives the customer an alien jellyfish instead. SpongeBob goes to the kitchen and sees alien Patrick cooking. He still doesn't notice anything until he goes in the back to get mayo and removes a box and sees all of his friends in green slime with the leader alien below. He finally realizes what's going on and makes his way out of the crusty crab and is caught by Sandy, who seems to already know what's going on. She straps SpongeBob down and tickles him to make sure it's not a clone, even though his eyes is still white. Sandy gives SpongeBob dark glasses and they make their way to the Krusty Krab to rescue everyone. They arrive and SpongeBob ends up revealing their identity. They get mayo and destroy the clones and make their way to the freezer to destroy the leader. But the mayo freezes because of the temperature. Sandy says a corny line and turn the heat up, melting the mayo and destroying the monster, freeing everyone from their trap. We can see everyone sitting down, confused in a pile. But wait, where's Gary? Wasn't his clone supposed to be there? Then everything struck me at once. This episode is all happening in SpongeBob's dream. This invasion was never real to begin with. Many times throughout the episode, we hear SpongeBob say this fairy line. What are you doing? Cooking Krabby Patties is my job. I am here to replace you and all of your kind. Uh, I saw that movie last night, too. Ah, my spatula! It's just like that movie I watched last night. Those things have captured everyone and put them into creepy pods. I believe that SpongeBob fell asleep watching a movie about an alien invasion 
and is in a nightmare. Still, don't believe me. Take a look at this clip from the same episode. Oh, that's okay. I, I have one at home. <laughs> Sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep. Did you see it? Where the fuck is the chum bucket? It is not across the street. And for years, we knew that's where it is located. If you still aren't convinced that this episode was all a dream, take a look at this clip. All right, you rotten jelly clone. What have you done with SpongeBob? I am no clone, Sandy. I am SpongeBob. How the fuck is SpongeBob inside Sandy's house without a water helmet? He needs water to live. And we get an example of this in season. One episode, one segment three, where SpongeBob tries to sit in Sandy's house without water and almost died. Need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it. But in this episode, he is restrained and not even phased, because it is all a dream. Thank you for watching this video. If you want me to make more theories, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.